Okay, so searching through the deepest, darkest depths of the Steam store, I have found some utter shit called Evil. Uh, it's mainly got horrendously bad reviews, and the description just cracks me up. The English is horrendous. In this game, you'll play for a girl who is left alone to spend the night at home. She cannot sleep. It seems to her that her who's watching. <laughs> what the fuck? After a while, Ksenia notice someone or something pass by her room. In the game, you will need to be careful. The danger can appear from nowhere. <laughs> Your actions affect the end of the game. So this is uh, some groundbreaking stuff here. And it even says on the features a good story so uh, let's check it out so you start off lying on the bed you can't move and the first thing you notice are those massive set of tits which really does remind me of the game Trespasser if anyone's ever played that and the horrendous English isn't just left to the Steam store page it's also continued throughout the game with these ridiculous subtitles and it doesn't take long for the first scare to appear. <gasps> so now you can go and explore this really weird house that you live in. The only indication you get of what you need to do is subtitles that appear for about a second or maybe two. And if you don't manage to read it, that's it. There's no other indication of what you need to do. You were just wandering around aimlessly. And a lot of that time spent wandering around aimlessly, I spent wondering, does she have a penis? Because it looks like she's kind of got one, or her pants are stuck to her leg. Not quite sure what's going on there. So considering this is a horror game, one of the things you have to do before you can enter a room is turn the light on. And like I said earlier, this is a weird house. Check out this bathroom. For starters, look at the size of that bathtub. You could probably fit about 10 people in there. And who has a washing machine in their bathroom? A washing machine. No sink, but a Samsung washing machine and a giant bath and just shit loads of empty room. It is weird. And talking about the Samsung thing, check out the product placement on this game. It is ridiculous. So we've got Dell, Samsung, LG, Colgate, Old Man Spice. I even found a photo of Audrey Hepburn next to someone's bed. Yep, and those are the kind of shit scares you are gonna get in this game. And who the fuck even put that telly there with a curtain obscuring half of it? So in case you're wondering how this wonderful story pans out, it goes a little bit like this. Turns out your parents are satanic nuts who have murdered your little sister years ago, which is the creepy girl you saw at the start. You've had absolutely no idea about this, not even with the off-limits basement with the demon's head above the door or the satanic bible on their bedside table. It all comes to a dramatic and terrifying end when you find the key to the demon basement of death and rape and you confront your little demon devil sister who actually killed me twice whilst playing the game but all she really wants you to do is help her so I'm not entirely sure why she kills you but because of that I decided not to help her and not to lift her curse by burning the book so she kills me again and I guess I get the bad ending of the two. All in all, I'd rate this game 8 out of 10.